aquí en Auto 060, estamos aquí en, en Miami y de, como siempre digo, gracias a DJ Kappa y en los controles ayudándonos en la producción del show. Y vamos a cambiar nuevamente al inglés porque um, vamos a hablar, um, we're going to switch back to English again with, with Tom Wilkinson from uh, General Motors talking about uh, the new Chevy Silverado 2014 model. How are you, Tom? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you very much for taking the time talking to us. I, I understand you're uh, on your way back home from uh, the actual event where uh, this new pickup truck was presented to the national media. So, um, what were the first reactions that you heard from it? Well, the first reactions I think have been very positive to the uh, 2014 Silverado. Um, we gave people a chance to drive the truck under a very broad range of conditions. They got tow trailers, they got to go off-roading on uh, some ranch roads near here in San Antonio the drive on the road, um, and I think they were very impressed with all of the changes that we've made to the truck. Yeah, it's a very tough uh, segment, right? I mean, the F-150, the Ford F-150 has been the leader in sales for, uh, I think, like 36 years or something like that, something ridiculous. And then the Ram 1500 came out as with the truck of the year award of Detroit uh, last January. So um, it's, it's, it's a very competitive segment and, and a lot of volume. So what's new in this uh, new Silverado to compete with those two opponents? Well, as you say, the uh, segment's very competitive. So we've really re-engineered the Silverado, uh, as we say, from hood to hitch. Uh, pretty much the entire truck is brand new. Um, it has a uh, exterior design is recognizably Silverado, but, but much fresher and a much stronger, bolder um, exterior appearance. A beautiful new interior that's very comfortable, uh, you know, very luxurious, but still looks and feels like a truck interior. It has all of the space and all of the storage and a lot of connectivity. People who work in the truck or take trips in the truck so they can plug in their phones, their computers, um, their music. And then a lot of attention paid to the uh, under the hood. We, we did three brand new engines for this truck. Again, we realize how competitive the segment is. And um, these engines all have this very neat trick of switching to four cylinders under light loads to help save fuel. So you have the power of a full-size truck engine when you need it, either a V6 or a choice of V8. Yeah. And then when you're just cruising down the highway, um, they switch into four-cylinder mode. And so we've been able to... Uh, beat all of our V8 competitors in fuel economy, and we've also been able to beat the Ford EcoBoost V6, which of course is a very popular engine in the F-150. Yeah, absolutely. So you said with the V8, uh, you can get a 23 MPG in the highway. That's pretty impressive for a, a V8 uh, in a pickup truck. That's very impressive. And you know, it has 355 horsepower, and the journalists were using it to uh, tow 8,000 pound trailers, um, which is a- wow pretty substantial trailer for a light duty yeah. truck and they, they found that the engine handled everything very well. Yeah, and uh, you you were mentioning before about the interior of the truck, uh, and and those uh, almost luxurious uh, items are a requirement nowadays because a lot of people who buy these kind of vehicles use them for work uh, during the day, uh, but then sometimes during the weekend they can like take out the family for a for a dinner or a, a trip or something. So the interior is very very important too, right? It is. I mean, most trucks now are sold with four doors, either crew cabs or uh, double cabs, um, just have slightly smaller rear doors. And people do use them. They use them for work or for business during the day and then use them to uh, take the kids places in the evening, go out to dinner or to take family vacations. So they still want the trucks to look and feel like the trucks. They don't want them to look like a passenger car or they would buy a passenger car. So for the new Silverado, uh, we have a very... Um, well-engineered um, layout on the instrument panel puts all of the controls, like the trailer brake control, exactly where you want them. But it's very luxurious and has all of the features, uh, including, for example, our new Chevrolet MyLink, which is uh, our infotainment system with an eight-inch touchscreen. So it's very luxurious, but, but still very spacious and very truck-like. Yeah, and uh, I was looking at the, at the prices of it. I mean, obviously you said three different engines, uh, different prices, but it starts at twenty four thousand five hundred eighty five and goes up to thirty two thousand seven hundred and ten for the the crew cab. Uh, I guess this is loaded with everything, or are there like options that you can add on to it? Well, there are options above that. That's the base price for each configuration, and we were able to um, to do carryover pricing for each configuration. And then there are a number of uh, 
features you can add to the trucks um, above that, um, all the way up up to our new uh, High Country model, which is our uh, our first premium nameplate in quite a number of years. Uh, and that's to keep with you know, products like the Ford King Ranch and the uh, the yeah. Rambler and the Longhorn. So yeah. we're going to be competing in that luxury segment for the first time in a while. That's great. They are like private jet now, these uh, pickup trucks. I have seen some of them. And they're really, really amazing, that the amount of things that they put into them. So we were talking about the the, the Ford and the Ram, but uh, there's also a competition from uh, Toyota and Nissan, right? I mean, they, they're they not at, at that high volume competing in, in this segment. They're still a pretty valuable competition. They are. Uh, you know, Toyota has a new truck coming out this fall. Uh, they've updated the Tundra. Um, and uh, we hear Nissan has a new truck in the works, so we have to stay on the top of our game. We have to keep engineering these trucks as best we can and, and packaging them as intelligently as we can, and we really need to work to, to make sure that our trucks have the most appeal and are the best value and have the most capability, so we're all working very hard on that at Chevrolet. Thanks, and well, thank you very much for your time uh, and, and for, for sharing all this information about uh, the new Silverado. And um, maybe we'll time uh, we'll, we'll test it uh, at some point uh, here in Miami or somewhere else. So maybe in Detroit. Yes, thank you very much, and it was a pleasure talking with you. Thank you very much. Pues ahí tienen. Estábamos hablando con Tom Wilkinson, hablando sobre la nueva eh, Chevrolet Silverado 2014, el nuevo vehículo con el cual eh, tienen que competir eh, con la Ford F-150, que ha sido el modelo de mayor venta en Estados Unidos durante 36 años, es algo realmente increíble lo que ha logrado la Ford con eso y la Ram, eh, la división de la Dodge, que ahora es, es una marca independiente para vender solamente las pickup trucks eh, ganó en Detroit, en el Auto Show de Detroit el año pasado el premio a la camioneta del año a, para el mercado de acá de Estados Unidos y bueno, esa es la competencia a la que se está enfrentando la nueva Silverado como decía Tom, hay tres motores disponibles para este vehículo eh, seis eh, cilindros y dos de ocho cilindros y el B8 tiene este sistema en el que cuando uno está manejando por el highway y llega a una velocidad crucero digamos se apagan, se cierran, se cancela la operación de cuatro de los ocho cilindros y con eso se alcanza un eh, millaje estimado de 23 millas por galón en carretera que equivale a un rendimiento mejor que el que tiene la Ford eh, F-150 con el sistema EcoBoost. Así que la competencia de las pickup trucks acá en Estados Unidos eh, se ha puesto más fuerte ahora con la nueva la, produ la introducción de la nueva eh, Chevrolet Silverado 2014.